Hello friends, a warm welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Neat Exam Update with Guruji, English. If you're watching our video for the first time or are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so that every important Neat update and major news reaches you first. Now let's begin today's special video without any delay. Today, Madhya Pradesh students received a massive relief. The government has officially announced that the reporting and document verification deadline for round one has been extended till 6 p.m. 28th of August. Not just that students who wish to resign their round one seat for upgradation will be allowed to do so until 30th August. The main reason behind this extension is historic. Two new government medical colleges have been inaugurated in Sheopur and Singrauli, adding 200 MBBS seats to the state. Union Health Minister J.P. Nadder personally visited Bhopal for the inauguration, along with the Chief Minister and other leaders. He declared that under the central mission, every district will eventually have its own medical college. Earlier, MP had 29 colleges and 4,775 MBBS seats. Now, the numbers have risen to 31 colleges and almost 4,975 MBBS seats. Just imagine a student who missed a seat by a few marks is now getting another chance. Villages are celebrating, parents are blessing their children, and hope is alive again. For rural families, this is not just about education. It is about dignity and dreams finally coming true. In Andhra Pradesh, a huge update came from NTR University of Health Sciences, NTRUHS. They have declared the round one seat allotment results and students can now download their allotment orders and report to colleges. The reporting deadline is 29th August, and students need to pay a registration fee of Rs 10,600 to confirm their seat. A crucial part of today's update is the Meritorious Reserved Category, MRC list. These are reserved category students who secured seats in the open category. Later they can shift to their category, seats creating more opportunities in open seats for others. Picture this a boy from a small village, whose parents took loans for his coaching, now comes home and tells his family, I got my MBBS seat. His mother cries with joy. His father proudly tells neighbours, My son will become a doctor. This single moment changes the destiny of an entire family. For many days, students in Chhattisgarh were worried. They asked, Why is my name in the NTA list, but not in the state allotment list? Some feared mistakes or corruption. Today, the Directorate of Medical Education, CGDME, clarified everything. They said there is no error. The difference exists because of domicile rules. If a student is listed in the NTA's data, but does not have a valid Chhattisgarh domicile, they cannot participate in state counselling. In phase one, a total of 1988 seats were allotted, including 1396 MBBS and 284 BDS seats. Now, round two will begin on 27th August. This clarity brought relief to students. Those who thought the system was unfair now understand the rules. In villages, students are saying, it's fine, our turn will come in the next round. That spirit that hope it is priceless. From Bihar, a big development arrived today. Round one allotment results were declared, and students have begun reporting to their colleges. Patna Medical College, Nalanda, Darbhanga, and Betia saw the highest demand. The special thing this year cut-offs dropped slightly. Earlier, a student needed more than 625 marks for a government MBBS seat. But this year, even students with 610, 615 marks are getting their chance. Just imagine a boy who studied under a lantern, worked in fields during the day, and prepared at night with borrowed books. Today, he walks into a government medical college in Patna. His parents say proudly, Our son will be a doctor. The entire village celebrates with sweets and drums. That is the real meaning of success. Finally, in West Bengal, the WBMCC released the round one seat allotment results. Students rushed to the portal to see which college they got. 
Some were allotted Kolkata Medical College. Others got RG Carr or NRS Medical College. For students here, this is like a dream. Imagine a farmer's daughter, who never left her small district, now telling her family, I will study in Kolkata to become a doctor. Her parents weep with joy, neighbours distribute sweets, and the entire community celebrates. Thank you so much for watching till the end. We bring the most reliable neat updates, fast and first. Don't forget to like, share and comment your feedback below. See you in the next update. Take care.